Hello, in this video, we are going to be considering manual principle using Procon to carry out the design of a reinforced concrete cantilever beam using the BS code and ACI code successfully. And then we will compute the bending moment, design reinforcement, and then produce a manual design calculations successfully in this video. So stay tuned, stay connected as we make progress. So you double click on the Procon icon on this uh, desktop to launch it successfully. So this is the interface of uh, Procon. Procon software is one of the best structural analysis and design software that have five design engines. It has the steel, concrete, composite, timber, and mystery successfully. So you can't design load bearing walls using Procon successfully, which other software did not have that uh, feature. So we will be designing the cantilever beam from what we have there. So we navigate to the analysis tab and then we'll be using this single span beam. Okay. So we double click on this single span beam and you get the single span beam uh, dialog. The first thing we have to give it a title here. Yeah? So, which is going to be design of Kanti Lever Beam, just like this. After which, we have two tables here. The first table is the beam data. The beam data consists of the beam length the fixity left and right, the moment of inertia and the modulus of elasticity. Then the second table consists of the unfactored loads, which has to do with the uniform distributed load left and right, and then distance, okay? In that question, we were given the beam length to be seven meter. So you keep in seven meters here. Yeah. And then the fixity left, since it is a cantilever, we have to fix it at left. You can see the display right here. And the fixity right, we will change that to free. It is a cantilever, it is supposed to have a free end. Okay. After which, the moment of inertia is obtained from the section. So the section given to us is 2 to 5 by 570 millimeters okay so for the load it it was given as a point load we have the first one to be five kilonewton five kilonewton at a distance four meters and then we have 20 kilonewton at a distance seven meters Okay, so it is seven meters, so we are taking this edge to be A, okay, so from A to B is seven meters, okay. So you notice it is not actually displaying here. The reason is because we have not, we have not a selected section. So you come to select section. So you click in this provision and then come to select section. So here are the steel sections. You come to the concrete section tab. Then you are to check if you have that section here. So the section is 2 to 5 by 570. You notice there is no section like that here. So come to the custom sections and also check. You see, if you scroll down, you see we have the section here. Write 570 by 2 to 5. Okay. But I will show you how to create, how to customize section. Okay. In this video, I will show you how to do that. So, what I will do now, I will select this section. So, once I select this section, you see the four meter we key in here has been arranged with the seven meters. Okay, so here is the load five kilonewton and twenty kilonewton, respectively. So here is the moment of inertia of based on the beam section. As you know, moment of inertia is bh cube all over 12 all right to get this so this is the self-weight of the beam itself the reinforced concrete beam 
all right so we are done with the setup okay now i want to show you how to create a section or how to customize the section for you to do that you need to go to the general tab you see this option pro section select that option in the pro section dialog we needed a rectangular section so where you have a code here select in the drop down menu plus sign in the x direction insert a point zero zero for x and y okay which is a starting point all right then we are going up 570 so x is going to be zero while y is going to be 570 just like this okay after which we are going left to get the width of the beam all right which is two to five so y is going to be zero and x is going to be two to five all right then we come down to complete the uh the depth of uh, 570 so x is going to be zero and then y is going to be minus 570. so this is the setup that will give us that beam once you enter on the keyboard you have it less like this so this is the section of the beam so we are trying to customize this all right so having created this you have to export it to the database so you can use it for your design successfully so you come to file menu see the option here export to section uh, database click that option so the section designation we are uh, we're going to give it a name as a reds okay 570 by 225 just like this after which the this this selection is going to be custom concrete profile so you select that option after we click on the ok option so once you click on the ok options the program have saved this section as a custom uh, section successfully so it has created all the necessary profile for this section automatically okay so at this point if you go back to that provisions we are we were asked to select a section you will see all that the program has actually uh, saved successfully so at this point you just have to close this and then you click on the yes option to have it saved in the database if you want to see the output of these sections select here you can see the program has created the moment of redaction, the area, all right, and all of the details of the area first concrete sections successfully, automatically, all right. You can see the shear and torsion diagrams successfully of this section that we just created. So for the calculation sheet of this section we just created, the program has also made it available okay this calculation sheet simply means the property of this section that we just created so this is the property of these sections that we just created successfully so we are done with that click on the close to close this successfully so we get back to the main interface where we are designing the cantilever beam so here we go you want to see that section that we just created if you come to section select section options come to se concrete then custom section if you screw down you see we are not having this is the section reds 570 by 225 all right this is the one that we had originally this is the new one we created so this is how to create section using the procon software successfully so having done that we proceed to the output which is going to give us the analysis result of this uh, cantilever beams successfully. You click right here and then you can see the result right there. This is the cantilever beam, all right, with the loads successfully. Then here we have the deflections, all right, 
the maximum deflection is minus 4.78 meters okay at 7 meter we have maximum deflection at 7 meters we had the shear forces to be maximum at 46.13 kN. okay and then it is at zero meters okay shear force is always maximum at zero okay which is 46 over here you can see right there the depending moments we have it maximum at minus 333.9 kN meter at also zero so this is the point where the main moment is maximum is the same point that the shear force is also maximum right there okay so this minus sign simply tells you the the uh, the directions of moment all right it doesn't have anything to do it's just the directions of the bed moment or diagram whether hugging or sagging it depends on how you choose your assigned convention successfully all right so from here now we are going to be taking out the maximum bend moment and shaft force so we can carry out the design using the given code which is the SCI code and the BS 8110 uh, codes of practice so we will now navigate to having taken notice of this maximum bend moment which is 233.9 so for the 6.13, we will get to where we design the section successfully. As we navigate to the concrete tab right there, and then in the concrete tab, you can see here we have section. We have cracked width, we have beam sections, and then punching shear. We'll be using this option of beam section to carry out the design. So we click on that once. So you have this. So here is a T beam. We are not designing T beam. We are designing a rectangular beam. So you change it to rectangular beam. Having changed that, you have to give it a title as a design of cantilever successfully after which the second thing we do is to change the codes already we have SI 318 2014 right here so we may first of all design with SCI but this is not the SCI we're using we're using 2019 so what you have to do come to file menu right here and then come to design code options and then you see SCI 2019 right Get that code selected click on save options and okay you see it there so after which we have the ULS okay which is the ultimate uh limited torsions bending moment and as well as shear force so the result we add there for bending moment is 233.6 we'll get back to check that for torsion we have uh, zero right there then four the shear force we have uh, 14.13 right there okay sorry this is 46 all right 46.13 then the webbed weight which is the width of the beam is 225 all right and also the depth is 570 right there flange width we wouldn't have flange this rectangular beam we are designing concrete cover is going to be 30 millimeters for beams all right you can use 25 but i'll go by 30 fc is going to be 25 megapascal and then we have this to be 410 then for links it's a nice steel we use 250 so this is set for design now but before we design we will cross check this bend the moment maximum bend the moment 
and as well as share force successfully. So, what we have here is 233.9, okay, and not 0.6. This is 46.13, okay. You see, this is having a minus sign in front. Just as I said earlier, the minus sign is for the sign convention. All right, so it doesn't matter. So you don't have to bring in the minus sign here. All right, so we have to correct this to be nine instead of six, just like this. So we are okay with this. We will proceed to carry out design. Click on the design tab. So once you click on the design tab, the software is going to carry out design and this added design result. You can see the moment here. The shear force table here, the torsions entire section table here, all right. So design has passed successfully. If design doesn't pass, you will see that in the provision of shear force table, you will be having some red highlighted uh alighted uh, color on these uh results right there. So if you have red highlighted color on this particular VC. It simply means the links has to be increased but if the whole of here is red simply means the section has to be increased okay so that means there is a failure there is a share failure okay so when there's a share failure you have to increase the sections successfully as well as the strength of the concrete so for what we have here you can see that uh, we are having uh, suggested reinforcement suggested reinforcement here Procon will suggest three reinforcement area which you will have to select the most economical that is best for your design the first one is 5y20 okay the second one is 3y25 and the third one is 2y32 right there so you can see over here and so after which you can go to the calculation sheet if you select in this provisions Procon will give you a manual calculation sheet if i use this plus sign to zoom it so you see it very clearly you see the sections being highlighted and here is the input data all right okay so here is the project uh name the sheet number so you can only select your right click and edit area so here we cannot type in calculated by and we key in here soft reason all right and now we insert that through these provisions after which i click on the okay you can feed in other informations job informations right and I click on the okay options to have that so if you want to see the calculations if you scroll down this is the design result which i've explained earlier and then you come down you see the three calculations right here design code aci 318 2019 fluxuria capacity and reinforcement calculations all right so these are the code references uh sections all right so from here, it gives you a detailed calculation. So these calculations, you will see it in the group chat. As some reason, uh, group chat, the link to join the group chat is in the description of this video. I will actually print these calculations. Let's put down, we see the detailed manual calculations that Procon has calculated. This is for the shear calculations, all right? So you can go through this, you get it. Uh, at, uh, on the group chat, okay. So I'll click on print right away. So I will be able to print this is seven pages. Click on OK to print it to a PDF. All right. So this is Procon card. I will give it that name. All right. Just like this. In my document, click on save to have that save successfully. So yeah, is it is been safe just like this? I uh, will close this right away, and then we proceed back to the input data. This time around, we wouldn't want to impute any other thing. We just want to change the code and carry it uh, to design with BS eight one one zero right there. 
so what happens is uh we will get to the file menu right there and then be able to change the code to bs at one one zero so here is bs at one zero this options I click on save and then okay so code has changed since code has changed now click on design you will see design is done all right so if you check the bend moment uh value and the area of steam value you can see some differences right there okay but for the power selections you see that the numbers of power still remain the same right here okay so if you get to the calculations right here you can be able to also scroll down to check how procon calculate this uh and liver beam design based on ps at one one zero okay you can see it right here so also this calculation sheet i will drop it on the group chat so we can't be able to take it from there and then you can look at it and compare the two designs successfully to see which one is most economical i will also save this all right click on the ok options so i will give this a name as cut all right so i will save this successfully we are done with this design